Hi folks, today we're going to be tackling the quest that requires us to make sure that Jade has her bunny costume. Uh, it's not too difficult, but we do need to make sure that we have three items. Bunny ears, the bunny suit, and the fishnet stockings. So I'm going to be going through how we get all of those in this episode. Stay tuned. First up then, you can see we need the bunny ears, and these are dead simple to get actually, once you know how to do it. You can forge them at a campsite, but there's really no need to do so. Uh, instead, just go onto your uh, magic menu, head down to the hero, and go to zoom. And then you want to teleport over to the south of Galopolis campsite. So that's exactly where I'm located right now. And once you're here, you just want to rest up for the night. So we'll go ahead and use the campsite there. And when you get to this menu, the camp menu, you want to just hit the circle or cancel key so that you have free movement around the camp itself. And what is Rab doing over there? <laughs> anyway, uh, we're going to head over to this merchant. And there might be other campsites you can find this guy at, I'm not sure, but I know for a, uh, a fact you can find the item here. And there they are, the bunny ears can be purchased for 550 uh, gold coins. Dead easy to get. And that is the only item of the three that you can get here. So just make sure you purchase one of those. Check your bags, you might already have a set of bunny ears anyway. But next up then, we have the bunny suit. And this is going to require us to have unlocked the casino in Puerto Valor. So since the quest itself is picked up from the same region, or the same city rather, Puerto Valor, and the casino I believe is accessible from the get-go when you get here, then uh, it won't be a problem getting this item. What you want to do is head into the casino. And you've actually got a choice. You can either purchase a few tokens and play the games until you have the required amount to purchase the costume. And I'll just show you here. It's 500 tokens in total that you're going to require. Uh, yada, 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 yada. Okay, so it's this one here, down the rabbit hole. Uh, you can only purchase it once. I've already purchased it, so I can't buy it again. Uh, if you don't want to play for the 500 tokens, you can just buy them outright. Although, I think it's going to be about 10,000 gold coins if you want to buy all of those 500 tokens. But if you don't mind spending a bit of money, then you can just speak to this NPC here and go ahead. Uh, yeah, there we go. Look, 20 gold coins per token. So you can just go ahead then and purchase 500. If you would prefer to do so that way for 10,000 uh, gold. It doesn't take long to earn it though, so you'd be wasting your money in my opinion. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you how to actually go ahead uh, and craft the bunny suit, the materials you'll need. It's quite easy, this one. You need two Narspicious and two Butterfly Wings, both of which can be purchased from that exact same vendor over at the south camps, uh, the campsite rather south of Galopolis in the region there. And you also need a single green eye, and you can get that from any of the green bat enemies that you encounter throughout the game. Okay, so uh, you've probably seen lots of those. I think they're in multiple regions. Just like little green flying bats. They're quite common, uh, but yeah, you can get the green eyes from those. Not as a 100% drop rate, of course. Right, and finally then, we're going to need the fishnet stockings. Again, you might already have these, so check your inventory or your other character's accessories and see if you have. There's two ways to get the fishnet stocking by this point in the game. You can actually loot it. Uh, I think it's from the King's Throne area a little bit earlier on, but you might already have sold that for whatever reason. So if you don't have that one, you can actually craft it. Uh, any forge using the other accessories option you can see the fishnet stockings there require a single fairy fluff you can purchase that from the item shop in Puerto Valor if you don't have it for whatever reason and the celestial sky can be a little bit annoying uh, but again it's not too bad you can actually get that from the Laguna de Gondolia area of the game I'm just going to run through exactly how you find that last item the celestial sky in case you do want to go ahead and forge uh, the fishnet stockings so in the Laguna de Gondolia area You'll want to head to this northern part of the eastern section, and this is where you're going to go ahead and find the Sparkly Hornet, which is the one you need to defeat for the mount. And once you've got the mount, just head to the northern small island, uh, the northwestern, there's like three little islands up here. You can see where I am on the map. And we'll go ahead and, actually I don't think you need to dismount, do you, to lose Sparkly? Either way, this is the one you want to get, and there's the Celestial Sky. Only need one of them. Uh, and you have exactly what you need then. As long as you purchase that fairy fluff from the city, as I mentioned, uh, to go ahead and create those stockings. So with everything done, we can basically just head back now. So we'll zoom uh, all the way back to Puerto Valor. And just go straight back to the city. Find the quest giver once more. And once you've gone ahead and got all of the items, we're going to go ahead and speak to the quest giver here. Tell them the good news. 
the old man who wants to see the bunny costume. Oh, he seems happy enough. And there we have it, the quest has now been completed and our reward is a garter. How exciting. <laughs> Alright then guys, well I hope the video has helped you. And yeah, pretty interesting quest to say the least. <laughs> but there we have it. Right, I think I'm going to head back into the casino now. I'm addicted. <laughs> Try and get another weapon. Uh, save up for it. I think I need 75,000 points for the one that I want. So I'll go ahead and work on that next. But thanks for joining me today, guys. And come back next time. We'll continue on with the main part of the walkthrough for Dragon Quest XI. Cheers all. Take care.